Hello folks, I'm Mochi Google and today I'll be showing you how to align vertices that are off grid in Hammer. So what we have here is a map that was given to me for the purposes of this video by Dertan Lama from Facepunch. Uh, what he's asked me was if it would be possible to bridge this gap between these brushes so what we what he has here actually is a, an arch but this brush wasn't part of that arch and he was I guess looking to um, you know to fill fill in this gap but he couldn't do that because if we isolate these two by hitting control H we can see that the the brush that's actually part of the arch is its vertices aren't on the grid as you can see of course uh, what you can do in these situations is just select the problematic vertices and then just uh, drag them off grid and drag them back onto it uh, however he didn't want to do this because uh, he said that when he tried it it caused some problems so what we're gonna be looking at today is an alternative to this. Okay, let's start. Uh, first off, let's select both brushes uh, and hit Control C. Let's open a new map and hit Control Shift V. This is base special. You want to keep all these values at their default. So number of copies to paste one offset zero 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 rotation zero 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 and also start at center of original needs to be checked this is very important hit OK there we go those are our brushes I now isolated in the new map uh, <clears throat> the deal with this technique is that we basically want to take uh, the vertices uh, of the brush that we want to align so that's this brush and that's these vertices and these vertices and then align them to the to the vertices that are off grid so that's these vertices and these vertices so those pairs those two pairs and uh, we're gonna be doing this in a text editor because hammer doesn't have a tool sophisticated enough to, to do this uh, so what I'm gonna be using is uh, sublime text of course but you can you can also use um, notepad plus plus or uh, basically any text editor as well, as long as it has an, a find and replace function uh, yeah okay um, what we're gonna want to do is isolate the face on which uh, the vertices of the brush that we want to move are so since we want to move these two vertices among others we're gonna isolate this face and let me find a texture yeah that works uh, actually yeah let's just apply that texture to this face uh, this is so that we uh, when we open the map in uh, in the text editor because we don't have any visual uh, representation of the map uh, this this texture on this face will be our guideline to find these vertices so uh, we're also going to want to apply uh, either the same texture or another texture doesn't matter to the other brush on the corresponding face so that's this one now we're gonna save this uh, map zoom map just call it maybe vertices and then we're gonna open sublime there we go and now we're gonna open the 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 map file we just saved okay there we go so uh, let's first check uh, since in this file we have two brushes here's here's one solid and here's the other solid so uh, let's check which one is which uh, on this one we have this texture it's wall stancia 3 ds something doesn't matter so uh, and here we see that's that texture so the second solid in this file is this brush 
so um, in order to be able to move these vertices uh, so they meet up with these vertices we're gonna have to read the coordinates of these vertices here so if we click here that's two vertices now uh, we know we know that they are part of the face which has the thermal texture on it so if we now find within this brush if we find uh, this face uh, we can see that it's defined by a plane which in turn is defined by three points so three of these vertices so three out of four of these vertices are what makes up a plane uh, the plane is defined by three points so uh, if we now zoom zoom in uh, in this view zoom in here uh, and we if we look at these numbers when we do that and of course the grid has to be at 1 we can see that it says minus 424 and 251 here so minus 200, uh, 424 and 251 uh, well the closest we get is this here and of course you should be looking at the y and z values because this indeed is the front view which is the yz plane so this is the y axis and this is the z axis so those are the two values that we want so that's x y z x y z x y z so this point here is this point here so we're gonna take these and then control C to copy them now we're gonna paste those over uh, to the to these vertices here yeah so now uh, if we go back up to the first brush and find the texture thermal DX8 we're gonna look at the coordinates of these two vertices so the Y and Z coordinates of these two again we're looking at these numbers here so once uh, the cursor is in the front view uh, those two numbers become the Y and Z coordinates of wherever you're pointing at with the cursor so in this case it's minus 425 and 250 um, and there we go that's minus 425 250 now uh, we're gonna wanna select the whole solid and then in Sublime, I'm gonna hit Control H. Uh, this brings up the the Find Replace um, dialog. Uh, yeah, there we go. So now uh, make sure that um, in Selection is selected so that you don't like replace uh, the the occurrences of those coordinates within the whole map, because if you're doing this outside a separate VMF like I am, well, I'm not, but if you are doing it you you don't want to be affecting the uh, the the other parts of the map so uh, make sure that's selected also we don't need regular expressions for this and yeah control H now find what well uh, we we need to replace these coordinates uh, with the coordinates we uh, copied previously so minus 425 actually oh minus 425 250 as you can see we have multiple occurrences of, of this and we should this is good uh, so now find that and replace it with this hit replace all or the corresponding button in notepad plus plus or whatever you're using now hit control s to save this map and as you can see we've saved it now we're gonna we're gonna close this no and then open it again and if we go back here you can see that it's perfectly aligned the the, the pair of vertices of four vertices now we're gonna want to do the same thing but now for this top pair so if we go back down to the second brush which is this so that's this solid uh, we're gonna again find the the thermal the thermal the face with the thermal um, texture and now we're gonna look at this vertex again in the YZ view so when you're doing this if your brushes aren't orientated this way um, of course you're gonna you're gonna want to do you're gonna want to uh, do your work in in a view that um, 
which which displays the brushes from the side so in this case that's this one if we had something like uh this it'd be this one actually actually yeah needs to be nine ninety yeah we we'd use this one in that case but yeah in this case it's this view so again we're gonna look at this vertex here so now again if we go go all the way down to uh grid one and hover over the and look at this num these numbers and hover over the the vertex uh, we can see that it's minus 431 264 so let's find that minus 431 264 so those are the coordinates that we need from the second brush so let's copy them then let's go back up to the first brush this one and let's look at the coordinates of the this vertex so again look at these numbers and hover over it and that's minus 434 266 thermal DX minus 434 266 that's what we're gonna be needing and then uh, hit of course in this brush control H minus 434 266 replace with that hit replace all and of course save now close this again no and open it back up and there you go it's perfectly aligned these two brushes now in order to uh, bring that this back into the uh, into the original map we're gonna again hit control C open the map and hit control shift V everything stays at default again and there you go actually I shouldn't have unhidden all of those but yeah uh, if we now delete this brush that's taking out you can see that what we're left with is perfectly aligned delete this as well perfectly aligned brushes and now we can just save this and it's like um, it's like this this brush was part of the arch in the first place uh, one more thing I'd like to address is sometimes uh, when you're looking at the, the face with the special texture uh, example this one um, you won't find the coordinates that you need because again uh, a plane is at least defined by uh, three points so um, that's of course what hammer uses so uh, for three um, yeah one of the four points will not be included in the in the plane definition so uh, therefore uh, for example if uh, the point which uh, we were going to find which is oh never mind uh, so which is this one here on this brush uh, it it could have happened so that uh, this point wasn't included in the plane so uh, the plane uh, would have been defined by three these three points and not this one uh, and in that case what we would have done is we would have taken this uh, texture and we would have placed it on this side so the side opposite the uh, the face which we were looking at and of course get rid of the texture on this side so we don't get confused uh, we, uh, we've done this because if we look at this vertex uh, it has the same y and z coordinates as this vertex and therefore uh, it is acceptable to use this face instead of this face so uh, if we then saved it and then looked at it in uh, sublime uh, we would have found that that uh, the coordinates that were pre previously missing uh, would now be um, present when we reload the map. So that's that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, feel free to subscribe, of course, because uh, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna have part two of my complex curves and corner pieces tutorial coming out uh, sometime during the next week. So yeah, thank you for watching and have a nice day.